All right, we're going to be doing notes on order of operations. In theory, this is review, but in reality, usually people need to uh, be reminded of a few things. Uh, so here we have a problem at the top of your notes. Make sure you have your notes in front of you, and you're filling in things as we go. We have evaluate 3 plus 4 times 2. So this first student sees this problem and goes, okay, I've got 3 plus 4 times 2. This person is like a robot or a calculator. They're just going with what they see in order. So they're doing 3 plus 4 is 7, and then times 2. So they're rewriting the whole um, expression each time they do a computation. So that's awesome. But they just went left to right. And then they did 7 times 2 is 14. The next person came along, and they wrote down their same problem, 3 plus 4 times 2. You don't always have to rewrite the problem, but... Uh, just to show which problem the different students are working on. So 3 plus 4 times 2. This person thought about what they learned about PEMDAS. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, or dear Aunt Sally. Um, so P is parentheses, there are no parentheses. E, exponent, no exponent. M is multiplication. So they go, okay, I'm going to do multiplication first. 3 plus 8. So they rewrote the whole expression. So that's awesome. Some people want to just... Um, start making markings above the original expression and just show piece by piece what computations they're doing. But for this year, at the very least, I'm asking you and telling you you'll lose points if you don't do it. You have to rewrite the whole expression each time you do a calculation. So 3 plus 8 is the next version, if you will. And then they can finally do the addition. Is the um, A in P-E-M-D-S, PEMDAS, or please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. So when performing arithmetic operations, there can be only one correct answer. So mathematics have devised a standard order of operations. And student two kept it in mind and was able to come up with the correct answer. So that there's the correct answer, student one Thank you for showing your work, but the work was incorrect. Um, so down here, you're going to see rule one, rule two, rule three. In class, a lot of times you're going to hear me call it priority levels. So priority level one, the first thing you want to look for and try to accomplish is simplify all operations inside parentheses. But it's more than that. Or anything that keeps numbers with operations grouped. So sometimes it's square brackets, it's the curly braces, it's <clears throat> things that are above or below a division or a fraction bar. So anything that keeps things grouped, you want to focus on dealing with that first. That's our highest priority level. And then while you're working within the group, you might have to think about the order of operations. What do I do first? And so on. Uh, the second priority level is to simplify all exponents. working from left to right. If I have two um, or more exponents in an expression that I need to evaluate, and the outcome of one does not in, at all in fact, affect the outcome of another one, I could do those at the same time when I'm doing my rewrite. So if I had 2 squared plus 3 squared, I could, in my next rewrite, write 4 plus 9, evaluate the 2 squared and evaluate the 3 squared, because they're the same priority level. Uh, but typically, we want to rewrite and just do one uh, calculation at a time unless we have the same priority level, one doesn't affect the other, then we can go ahead and do multiple calculations at the same time. The next priority level, I call it, or the rule, is to perform all multiplication and division working from left to right. Now this is where that PEMDAS, or please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, gets people confused because they think it always has to be multiplication then division, but that's not always the case. If you're looking at it and you're at that priority level and division appears first, you have to do the division. Now if you have multiplication and division in the same sentence and, or a number or sentence or expression, if you will, and they don't uh, interact with each other, you could do them both at the same time. But if one of them relies on the other one to be computed, you have to do the division first, if it appears 
on the left, and then multiplication after if it appears on its right. So you work left to right. It's not always division first. It's not always multiplication first. It depends on what you've been given. And the lowest priority level is to perform all addition and subtraction, working from left to right. And again, it could be subtraction first. You might have them a uh, subtraction where the addition has to rely on what you got as a result of the subtraction. If it's left to right, you have to do your subtraction first if the subtraction appears on the left of the addition. If you have both addition and subtraction left, they're not going to depend on the outcome of the other one. Uh, they're very separated and so on. You can do them at the same time. But if one of them needs the other one's you know, result of the computation, then you got to do it left to right. So hopefully everybody has that because I'm going to go ahead and clear the ink and scroll it up so we can do some examples. I think that's the clearing ink. Yes, it is. Excellent. Scrolling, maybe not, maybe. Okay, here we go. So you know I like memory tricks. My memory is not so good. So we can use that um, mnemonic, PEMDAS. As long as you remember, it's not always the M then the D. And it's not always the A then the S. It could be PEDMAS or PEMSA. You know, it could be flip-flopped. The other mnemonic that some people use is the longer one. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Or depending on your accent, could be Aunt Sally. It stands for parentheses, which really means groups. Uh, exponents, multiplication, and division. Notice I put the slash there because it could be one or the other, depending on left to right. And then addition and subtraction, same priority level. <clears throat> so left to right. So parentheses or groups, then exponents, then multiplication or division, depending on how they show up, and then addition or subtraction, depending on how those show up. So let's look at these examples. The first one, 3 minus 1 in parentheses squared plus 7 times 8. So the 3 minus 1 has to be accomplished first. It's a group. So I'm going to go 2 squared plus, and I'm going to rewrite the 7 times 8. Now in reality, if I did the 7 times 8 right here and now at the same time that I'm taking care of inside that group, I'm going to be okay because it is separated enough. But just to make it clear what I focused on first, I just did inside the group. Now I look at it, and I don't even have to worry about it, what it used to be. Now I'm just looking at it what it is now. 2 squared plus 7 times 8. I have to take care of the exponent. So 2 times 2 is 4. And again, I'm going to rewrite the 7 plus 8 to make it clear which things have a higher priority. Um, <clears throat> now I'm going to go ahead and do the multiplication because multiplication has a higher priority than the addition. So I'm going to rewrite the 4 plus and then take care of the 7 times 8. Some people go ahead and show it this way. So they show doing each computation by making a little... This becomes that, this becomes that. Um, that's fine if you do it, you don't have to. But for some people it really helps them focus in on what did I do now, what do I do now. So for this last one, it's just the addition that's left. So we get 60. And that's our final answer. But we're not going to get credit if we just write it above here, 2, and then this becomes 4, and this becomes 56. You won't get credit for that. You have to rewrite the whole expression. Well, the next one, we have 36 divided by 4 times in parentheses 5 minus 2, and then outside the parentheses plus 6. So we have to do inside that group first. So the 5 minus 2 is grouped. So 36 divided by 4. Now I'm going to rewrite it inside the parentheses, because if you notice, there's no symbol between the 4 and then the parentheses 5 minus 2. Some people, because now you know, hopefully, the multiplication notation could be just parentheses on either number, some people will rewrite it inside the parentheses. Some people will go ahead and jot their own little multiplication symbol in there to remind them what that means. And then plus 6. Now I have a situation where I don't have any groups left. Even though there's a parentheses there, it's not telling me to do that first because I've taken care of what's inside the parentheses. Now I'm at priority level 3, multiplication and division. 
even though there was a parentheses there, I'm not focused on that. I'm focused on whichever one comes first, left to right. In this case, it's this division. So 36 divided by 4 is 9, and then times the 3, and then plus the 6. That's a common mistake, so be careful. Watch out for that. And now 9 times 3 is the 27, plus the 6. I have to rewrite the rest of it. And then my final answer, I get a 33. So make sure you have those examples down. We're going to do the last two examples. We have 50 plus 2, and then in square brackets, we have 8 minus 3 in parentheses, and then a 2 on the outside of the parentheses, and then close that square brackets. So I have to take care of the group, and I have to take care of the inner group first. So I'm going to rewrite the rest of it. Just sort of hangs out, goes for a ride. So I have 8 minus 3 is 5. Yeah, it took me a second to think of that. Don't make fun of me. I'm not even here to defend myself. Um, and then times 2. I know parentheses with no symbol in between is going to mean I need to do multiplication. You don't have to rewrite it with a multiplication symbol, but you can if it makes it a little clearer for you. And now I still have stuff inside a group I need to take care of. So 50 plus 2, and then inside this grouping brackets, 5 times 2 is 10. Now notice there's no symbol between the 2 and the 10. That also means multiplication. So 50 plus 20, because 2 times 10 is a higher priority than 50 plus anything else. So 50 plus the 20 gets me 70 as my answer, showing each step. Uh, the last one gets a bit more complicated because of that uh, viculum, I think it's called. I don't know, the fraction bar or division bar that you have there. So we have <coughs> a group up here that's grouped together, and we have a group down here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and take care of this first priority level of the group that's on the top. The font's a little funny because of needing to set it up inside a fraction format. So it's the 3 times the 2 inside the group gets done first. So 6 plus 6 over 4 plus, I can do what's in the next group because they're separated enough and they're both the same priority. So 18 minus 3 is 15. Uh, then I still have to take care of this grouping that's above here. So I've got 12 over 4 plus 2 times 15. 12 over 4 is equal to 3. Plus, same priority level, but they're separated. 2 times 15 is 30. So for this one, my answer is also 33. I rewrote and I did the priority levels as I went. And now you're going to try out some problems.